made it. I wasn't looking forward to dealing with this by myself. Our hollow emitters are doing their job, and the bombings should happen soon. Once that's finished, we can get started. Daniel said this might happen. Something to do with the effect of chroniton flux on short-term memory. Hey, you gotta love temporal mechanics. Yeah, we've been sent back in time to fix a problem. It's April 4th, 2063, the day before first contact. This is the missile complex where humanity's first warp-capable vessel was launched. The Borg are the problem. They're here, and they're trying to change history in their favor. History says the Borg failed because of Picard and the crew of the Enterprise, but as of now, history's wrong. Somehow the Borg managed to pull victory from the jaws of defeat tonight. We're here to make sure that doesn't happen. Right now, we're effectively invisible inside this hollow shield. Once we're ready to move out, we'll drop it and our personal emitters will kick in. Think of them as a sophisticated disguise kit. They'll make us look like we belong here. To the locals, we'll look like a band of 21st century humans wandering around the woods of Montana. Any other questions? Okay, the bombing should end quickly thanks to the Enterprise. We're gonna need to move fast once things stop exploding. Right, let's get moving. We need to get to the complex quickly. So much for the bombing run. Enterprise must have finished off the Borg vessel. We are the Borg. Your biological and technological distinctiveness will be added to our own. Resistance is futile. After all this time, we still haven't learned. Resistance is inevitable. Congratulations, Admiral. Complex took some hits. Let's check for survivors. Borg life signs in the complex. The Cardinus people should be here now. Let's make sure before we move on. Tricorder's picking up multiple subspace comm signals in the area. Hmm. Some of them are Starfleet, but they're coming from inside the missile silo. Probably protecting Zephyr from Cochran. The rest of the signals are coming from the southwest. Any guesses as to the source? Got it in one. Looks like they managed to send down a few landing parties before their ship blew up. Chances are they're here to make our lives difficult. I think it's time we return the favor. up, there are drones ahead. Your defenses are insufficient. You will be assimilated.
There are lights over there. Looks like a camp of some kind. The Borg will be drawn to it like moths to a flame. We need to protect the locals. Picking up life signs ahead. Some of them are Borg. Well, what do you want? Get away from us! You will be assimilated. You will adapt to something collected. What the hell are those things? Robots? Zombies? Robot zombies? I'm afraid something like this will happen. Take out those drones. to do a memory wipe on the locals. They can't remember the Borg. Setting your tricorder to emit a neurolytic pulse should work. Looks like the Borg have changed their tactics. They're avoiding Cochrane and the Enterprise crew and focusing on assimilating the locals. Makes sense. After they lost their ship, they lost their numerical advantage. No argument here. I ran a quick scan of these drones. There's several references in their onboard nav systems to a location north of here. Designation Resource Node 01. We should check this out. Whatever they're up to isn't a good thing. All right, this area is clear. You know, Borg signals to the north, though. Apparently, resource node 01 is a garbage dump. Sounds wonderful. And there must be something of tactical value here. Let's make sure they don't find it. Great, this place smells and it's swarming with drones. Take him down. Fires. Copper tubing. And lithium batteries. Oh, hell. I think I know what they're doing here, and it's not good. Fair point. I think they're trying to build a transporter. Might have lost their ship, but there's a lot of Borg still in Enterprise. If they can beam those drones down here, the situation will go from bad to worse. The complex isn't far. Let's make sure it's secure and then work on finding and dealing with this bootleg transporter.
I'm assigned to the Borg. Run a scan. Make sure Picard's team is all accounted for. Picking up Starfleet comm badges inside the bar and... Hold on. More Starfleet comm badges inbound, but they're on Borg drones. the Borg finished making their transporter. Those were assimilated Starfleet officers from Enterprise. Which sweep the perimeter and make sure there aren't any Borg going after Cochrane. Who is this jerk? No call to make a turn off my knee. Will Riker? Is that from Cochrane? Friend of yours? Yes. Husband? No. Good. Now this is Deanna. Deanna. This is the good stuff. Dr. Cochran. To the Phoenix. May she rest in peace. Okay, the perimeter's clear. I'm thinking that transmission tower's our next stop. Get me to the first array and I'll start disabling their transporter.
All right, this one's done. Let's go. Here, do something about that, okay? Remember the part about keep them off me? Yeah, do that now. They're on to us. Security protocols just spiked, and not in a good way. Two down. That last one's gonna be a real bitch. Only one left. Stay with me, we can do this. self-replicating security. As fast as I can. I think we're through the worst of it. I'm not picking up any Borg activity in the area. Nice work. Over, as far as you're concerned. I'll deal with all this Borg tech lying around. It's a mess, but my nanites will make short work of it. As for you, feel free to return to the present. Take a break, have a drink. You've definitely earned it.
What we knew is gone. Our home, our lives, all that we were, dust. Blasted across empty, heartless skies. But we live. Our legacy lives within every ship we fly, upon every world we touch, in our hearts, in yours. There will be challenge. You will know fear, but you will overcome. You will survive and answer vengeance with blood. You will do as you must. Rule cannot be handed to the faithless. Our legacy cannot be lost to villains. Bury the past to face the future. In enemies, find allies. There is no price we have not paid, no loss we have not felt. Our dead world, our long suffering, these are not ends. We are not ended. For your crew, for your people, for this new home, we must face all doubt. We must break the strong who would destroy us and overcome the impossible. We must fight against any and all. We must, we will, for we are Romulan. This is the point we have pinpointed in your timeline, sir. This is when you go back and give yourself this. You will know what to say. You've already heard yourself say it. Even if it is not exactly right, the time stream will work it out. Just make sure that you give yourself this. It is our best hope for the future of the galaxy. You will return to this exact point in time as soon as you have done what you need to do. The galaxy still needs you, Admiral. Ready? The youngest of our kind rely on stories to know what our people were like before. Strong, secretive, warlike. We were feared. We were powerful. Then, everything changed. 22 years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova. The resulting explosion traveled through subspace to hit Romulus and Remus, our homeworlds. No one could have predicted that would happen, and no one could have stopped it. Millions died. Those who survived were scattered across dozens of worlds. One day, we were citizens of one of the greatest powers of the galaxy, and the next, we were just trying to survive. Every day was a struggle if you weren't part of the militant and oppressive Tal Shiar, or ruling everything from on high like Empress Sila. For ordinary Romulans, military victories don't mean much when you're hungry. Life goes on. The Klingons and Starfleet are at one another's throats. But battles light years away don't affect us much. The Tall Shi'ar are the more immediate threat. They're rebuilding the Empire by force and pressing anyone they think can help into service. But even they don't seem to know we're here. We've put down roots and found friends. Today, we'll celebrate what we've created. With hard work and some good fortune, true Romulans will once again rise to be a power in the galaxy. The first step on that path begins here. There you are. The security chief was looking for you earlier. She said there's trouble at the vineyard. Avrak's been filing reports all night about Kellid's chewing at the vines. He's really worked up.
Something must have annoyed them. It's not typical Kellid behavior. With the big celebration tonight, I think everyone's a little overexcited. Even the bugs. You should listen to one of Avrak's messages before you head out there. Interactable items have a glow around them. Walk up and press the X button to interact with the console. Tell me you'll help me. Kellids are in the vineyard chewing through the irrigation pipes. And everyone says they're too busy getting ready for the big party to come and do something about it. There won't be any party if everyone's knee-deep in water by nightfall. Get over here and help me fix this. Coming over here. This is getting ridiculous. No one appreciates me around here. No one. But they think these crops just grow without any help from anyone. Tending these vines is a lot of work. No one says thank you. No one pats me in the back. They just keep asking for more. God, look, just get over here and take care of the killings, all right? And maybe say thank you for all the work I do to keep these vineyards in shape. It's me again. Ignore the other message I sent. I lost my temper. I'm sorry. Maybe that's why you're not here yet. I really could use your help, though. These Kellids are chewing through everything, and they won't stop. And no one here is even trying to help. They just keep bouncing me to other people. First to Tovar, then to Navala, then to you. What's next? Should I ask one of the kids? Just please come here soon. Thanks. If the Kellids are chewing up the vineyard, you should probably grab a pistol, just in case. I'd join you, but the Chief has me looking into some odd comm chatter we picked up yesterday. We'll have to catch up later. Your minimap shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. Plasma beam pistol has been automatically equipped. You can practice on the nearby model. The triangle R2 bolster and attack your weapon. To sprint, press and hold the left stick while moving. Finally, which message? Ah, oh, never mind that either. It's chaos here. I need some help. Normally, we collect nectar from the local Keladin sites. Something has driven them into a frenzy. They're chewing on our irrigation system and flooding the vineyard. Excellent, excellent. Uh, the broken pipes are obvious. They're the ones spraying water everywhere. Kelad shouldn't give you too much trouble. Uh, a few bursts from your pistol will take care of them.
The flooding has stopped, but if those kelids come back, they'll just break the pipes again. Something's making the insects go crazy. With bugs this size, that's a real problem. And Navala might be able to help, but she's not goofing off again. She knows all about kelids. She's normally down by the greenhouse this time of day. Tell her to stop being lazy and keep these critters contained. Good idea. Talk to Navala. I bet she's just lounging around right now, not even thinking about all the damage being done to my vineyard. No one around here wants to put in a good day's work. Well, except for you. Just in time. Did you talk with Avrak? He said that I'm what? Lazy? That I've been... Ugh! He's just trying to make me look bad so he can get a promotion. Oh, that's so old-fashioned. Let me tell you what's actually happening. The Kelids are going crazy. I've been working all day to keep them out of the residential areas. This aggressive behavior is new, and we need to figure out what's causing it. That means gathering samples from some of these creatures. some kind of fungus growing on it that's similar to the spores we found on some of the Kellid carapaces. It might explain their behavior, but how are they getting infected in the first place? Also, the flying Kellids have never come out of the cavern before. Oh, this is so strange. You're right. The source of the infection could be somewhere inside the cavern. Head over there and see if you can find out what's aggravating the nest. And be careful.
A strange machine and some weird drone things? Hmm, that is troubling. Someone's been in there. We'll have to let the Maori know about this. It's good you disabled the device, though. Maybe now the Kellids will calm down. I took a look at those biological samples while you were gone, but I can't do much more than a basic tricorder scan. It's just not my area. Devex might be able to help. He was an engineer in the Romulan military before the homeworld was destroyed. Now he's helping us with our water supply and anything else that takes more specialized knowledge. You should talk to him. What do you need with an old space hound like me? Hmm. I have an idea of what this might be. Maybe. I saw something like this once before, when I was out beyond the Eridon belt. We responded to a distress call from a mining outpost. When we got there, all the people were just gone, vanished without a trace. The only things we found were a strange beacon and some odd spore samples. These look very similar. Good idea. When we ran into something like this before, we were able to stop the spores from reproducing by bombarding them with tachyons. We have the equipment here to replicate that procedure. Star Trek Online will change based on your career track, engineering, science, or tactical. I've only seen fungal biotech like this once before. Remember that mining station that I mentioned? Before we arrived, they reported several disappearances. Some thought it was paranoia. But we had reports that said intruders would beam in right through the colony's magnetic shield, right into someone's quarters, sedate them, and then vanish without a trace. We didn't know what to believe, but I don't think those miners were paranoid. Something did happen to them, and it could happen again. That's what my commander believed. We found a beacon with almost the same configuration as the one you found. We weren't able to get much from it before we shut it down. But the one thing we learned is that the beacon was made by a race that called themselves the Alachi. We stayed in orbit for a few days, but the Alachi never came back. That's good news for us, seeing that you disabled the beacon you found in the caverns. That's right. He's the man in charge, so he needs to know. I'd be surprised if he doesn't want to send someone down there to analyze that beacon. Could be these Ilachi were interested in our colony for some reason. Lucky for us, you were there to put a stop to whatever they were trying to do. Jolan True. I heard Avrak yelling all the way over here. I'm sorry you had to deal with his problems on our day of celebration. Hmm, that does sound very mysterious. However, you seem to have taken care of the immediate problem, disabling this beacon and dispatching the drones. You have my thanks. I'll assign some engineers to examine the device and set up surveillance on the cave as soon as possible. If 
what Devek says is true. We don't want that beacon turned on again. Now that's settled. Why don't you try to relax for a while? Enjoy the festival. We'll talk again tomorrow after the engineers have finished their analysis of the device. Hold the X button to bring up your captain commands menu and contact Tovan Kev. Are you done for the day? I'm just finishing up too. I'm going to head back to the restaurant. Meet me for a drink when you're done. Hey there. Long day? I can't believe how far this colony has come. Just look at how much we can accomplish without being ruled by the Tal Shi'ar. Word is, someone named Atan is trying to fight them, but... Me? I'm content with what we have here. Let's go enjoy the festival. You are now a Delta recruit. You have a unique trait that gives bonus dilithium ore to you and your teammates.
Friends and neighbors, welcome to the tapping. The kellet nectar has been harvested, the ale is brewed, and we can finally taste the fruits of our labors. And like this fine vintage, our colony has taken time and effort to develop. Since the loss of the homeworld 22 years ago, we have known fear, hunger, and pain. We have struggled. We have overcome every difficulty. We have mourned those who are no longer with us, and we have welcomed new friends into our home. And now we celebrate. The trials are behind us. Viranat is prosperous and growing. We will face new challenges in the future, but we will face them together.
Send the signal. showed me how to fly his warbird. We're almost there. Navigation is on. Press up to increase your ship's speed. Press down to decrease your ship's speed. What do you need to know? This'll do nicely. We just need a little more salvage. Use the left stick to pitch downward or upward, as well as to turn left or right. Weapons are online. Let's test them out on some of these derelict ships nearby. They're not shielded, so we can just use our torpedoes to finish them off. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. dropped for you. Move towards the item to automatically loot it. 
Three more of these should get this hull good to go. Time to take out the tall Shi'ar satellites dead ahead. Use your plasma beam to weaken shielded targets. Systems are go and full impulse is back online. I'm picking up a distress signal nearby. There must be people from the colony. More colonists managed to escape the surface. The distress signal is close. Searching. There! We have to help them! Turn off full impulse. There's a tall Shi'ar drone dead ahead. up more colonists and tall Shi'ar nearby. We have to rescue our friends. Press the circle button to activate high yield torpedo.
think it's safe to say we're a fully operational ship. I'm getting an alert. There's another distress signal coming in from one of the colony's shuttles. We can do a short-range warp jump to get to them. Do you want to go now, or stay here to wipe out any other incoming drones? They look like they'll be coming in to do sweeps in the area. colonists here. Just this strange ship. I've never seen anything like this in my life. It's gigantic. Engineering reports that the ship has scanned us, but they're not responding to my hails. What should we do? something to the ship. Nothing is responding. I can't even warp us out of here. I think I might be able to get a comm channel up to hail them. What do you want me to do? We're getting a reply. What the... They seem to be rearranging our words and sending them back. Listen. I'm picking up another ship. This one is Tall Shiar. It's decloaking! What do you need to... So the Alachi were right. A handful of pitiful Romulan refugees managed to escape. When will you colonists learn that no matter how far you run, you cannot escape your obligations? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Colonel Hakiv of the Tall Shiar. On behalf of the Romulan Star Empire, I hereby lay claim to this colony and all of its inhabitants. Surrender now, and I will ensure that you serve us in the way you are most suited. Fire weapons at will! This is Tamer of the Romulan Republic. Tall Shiar vessels stand down immediately. Tamer! How fortunate! I can destroy both of you! Tamer, commander of the Romulan Republic. We picked up your distress signal while on a mission in a nearby system. I would say we arrived just in time given your ship's condition. Who are you? And what happened here? I am truly sorry. This is not the first time I've heard a story like this, and I fear it will not be the last. And these Ilachi creatures, they are troubling. We need to know more about them and why they're working with a snake like Hakiv. As I said, I'm with the Romulan Republic. You may have heard of us. We are not the terrorists the Tal Shiar make us out to be. With our leader, Datan, we are working to gather survivors of the destruction and fight the tyranny of the Tal Shiar. 
We have a flotilla nearby. If you're interested, we would welcome you and your friends to join us there. I appreciate your willingness to do what's right. I'm transmitting the coordinates of our flotilla to your ship now. When you arrive, we can repair your vessel and work out our next move. Thank you again. I'll make sure you won't regret your decision. I don't know how I feel about this, but I guess signing with Tamer is better than risking death on our own. And he did help us out with the Tal Shiar. The coordinates are loaded up whenever you're ready to go. I think the colonists we rescued are eager to get someplace safe. Greetings. I am Sub-Commander Nadeau, Assistant to Commander Tamer. Please follow me to the Commander's quarters. There is much to discuss. Commander, our guests have arrived. Excellent. I'll get them up to speed. There is much to do. I'll be glad to show one of you around, while the other stays and talks with Tamer. I'll take the tour, and then meet you back on the ship when you're ready. Greetings. I hope all is going well with you. Good to see you and Tovankev made it to the flotilla of the new Romulan Republic. To be brief, we are a group that was founded by Datan to combat the tyranny of Empress Sila and her Tal Shiar. Our goal is to unify the shattered Romulan people under a new democracy instead of Sila's tyrannical rule. There is much to do, however. I can answer any questions you may have. What's next is that you receive our uniform and get a tour of the flotilla. After that, you'll receive your first assignment. However, you must understand that by joining us, you mark yourself as an enemy to the Tal Shi'ar. Hakiv and his people will see you as a threat, and there isn't anything they won't do to stop you. Are you ready to accept that? Good. You should get yourself down to Lieutenant Delatham. You can get a uniform from him if you want to change out of those civilian clothes. You can also have your ship modified. We can't get you into a more powerful vessel yet, but we can change the appearance of your ship if you want. When you're done, return to your ship. I should have your first assignment ready and sent to your ship by then. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Jolan True, 
Is there something Romulan Temporal Defense can help you with today? A temporal encounter, I take it. I can do a scan for chroniton radiation. That will tell us everything we need to know. I am picking up some light chroniton radiation on you. You are exposed to someone from the... the future, it seems. But not too far. By these readings, I'd say a maximum of 18 months from the day you encountered them. It's not out of the question. The Romulan Republic is in need of flag officers, and I can see capable leaders being promoted through the ranks quickly. This looks to be a Tesseract-based receiver. Where did you get it? I see. I've heard of these. Old rumors talk about a Starfleet captain having one. Admiral Archer, I think, when he was captain of the Enterprise. These are used to send back information, and in some cases physical objects, from the future. I believe if you were to do specific tasks that benefit the future, items useful to you could be sent back in time for you to use. Hello again. Now that you're settling in, I wanted to speak with you about what our overall goals will be. First and foremost, we are looking for a new planet to call home. Tamer and his crew are handling that search. While the search continues, I am working on any possible alliances that we can make with the Federation and the Klingon Empire. We will need allies if we are to proceed. Your task will be the protection and recovery of other Romulans spread throughout this sector. We are finding more by the day. Some have already joined us, but others do not believe in our cause. It will be up to you and your crew to protect these colonies from the Tal Shiar and to recruit anyone willing to assist us. Do you have any questions? If not, I would suggest you return to your ship. Tamer will have his orders ready for you. Sounds like we've got our orders. If you're ready, I can beam you back to the ship. However, before that, I need to ask a favor. I have a sister. Her name is Rena Kev. She and I were separated a long time ago. I want to try to find her. As we're doing our missions, could you try to ask about Rena? Thanks. Most missions can be turned in remotely. Hold the X button to bring up your Captain Commands menu and select Turn In to report to the contact and turn in the mission. All set to go, I trust. Good, there is a lot to do. Your first target is already under attack by the Tal Shiar. There's no time to lose. Greetings. Congratulations, Lieutenant. 